I don't have time to create that content. How much money do I have to spend to be able to create that content as well? When am I ever gonna see an actual ROI? Is it gonna take months or is it gonna take years? How do I even get people to engage with my content and get eyeballs on it for them to even pay attention? Have you ever thought about those questions? Because I thought about those questions initially when I wanted to create my content. How am I ever gonna actually see when I produce the content, I spend all that time, that money, that resource to produce it, and then you have to distribute a market. There's 101 things that you have to do right to be able to produce the optimal amount of content that's actually gonna drive revenue for your business. Today, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is the process that we've been able to cultivate for clients and also internally to be able to produce content that actually generates revenue, traffic, and leads in hundreds of thousands without spending a ton of time or money doing it. YouTube community, make sure you comment below and let me know what it's that one thing that's holding you back from producing optimal amount of content for your business and your target audience. Or any insights or questions that you have, I read all the comments below on YouTube. The second thing is I wanna make sure you watch to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you the exact templates, processes, and step-by-step -step walkthrough to be able to help you grow your business using effective content that doesn't take up a ton of time or money on your end. Just the other day, I was on the phone with an entrepreneur that ran a very successful business. It was doing $50 million in the technology space. Now, I'm not gonna tell you his exact name, but let's just say his name was John. Now, before we jumped on the call, as soon as I was able to speak with him, the first thing right after we said hello, he said, Benson, I looked at your content on your website, I watched some of your YouTubes, I saw some of your LinkedIn profiles and what you had on there. I wanna work with you to be able to launch your website. Before I could even get to the next line, this is the first thing that he said to me. Now that is the magic of content. That's what I wanna help you do, regardless if you're even in the B2B space or you're in the B2C space. Whatever target audience, whatever product or services that you sell, whatever industry that you're in, you're able to create this kind of effect where the content does all the marketing and the selling for you. And as soon as they want to interact with you, it does all the heavy lifting. One of the biggest assumptions and obstacles for companies of all sizes to create their content when I'm in conversation with them is all along the same lines. How do I create content? What type of content should I create? Like what type of team should I put together to create that content? Do I need a videographer? Do I need a content writer, a content marketer? Do I need someone that builds that whole process for me? How do I distribute that content? How do I actually get eyeballs? And the most important fundamental question is how do I actually see an ROI with this content? When is it gonna produce revenue, profits, and cash flow and actual sales in my business online through this content? Now those are all very valid questions. When I started out producing the content, the only thing that you need, you don't need any, you don't need a big team, you don't need all these different things. The only thing that you need, that one thing, it, there's nothing else you get from this video, is this. Use your phone, take out your phone, you record a video. The most important thing is that you actually add value through your content, and that's what I'm gonna share with you in a bit. I'm about to say something very important that I want you to pay attention to because you're able to grasp this principle that will fundamentally change the content that you produce for your business. If you are not able to produce a solid piece of content using your phone, then more people is not gonna help. It's all about how you produce the content, what you say in the content, to make it engaging and add value, solve a problem, or help them achieve a result that they have. More people, sure, it'll give you scale to create that content, but overall, it's everything, the value that you create through what they're watching and engaging with. Now, I'm gonna share with you the content process that we use in-house and also for clients to be able to create that ton of content that's valuable to your target audience, that drives an ROI, that doesn't cost a ton of time or money on your end or on any of your team's end as well. But I'm also gonna be doing an expanded post on my website and on LinkedIn that you can make sure to see. The most important thing is that you follow the page and you follow every single content that I'm producing for you. So right now, the content that I'm producing a personal brand, we create six videos a week, three BWB, three digital secrets, like the video that you're watching right now. And at the same time, we've turned them into long form posts on LinkedIn, long form posts on the website and also on Facebook and do multiple different images of creators that we use for advertising or whatnot. And you can see just from that piece of content, we're able to produce a lot more by repurposing things. That's one of the core fundamental principles that you can use as well. You start with video at the top, and then with the video, you're able to pull a podcast episode, you're able to pull the actual video, multiple different forms of short form videos that you can use for your advertising, or you can use it on things like Instagram, you can use it on Twitter, you can use things that on their platform, they allow you to distribute the content in a short amount of time. At the same time, you can also pull that video content and turn that into actual written content on LinkedIn if you're in the B2B space or on any specific platform that's native to your target audience and where they pay attention to you and your business. Now the direction of your content is gonna be very, very important. 
the two content that you can produce, and there's only these two, is you either solve a problem using the video or you provide them with an actual result. For example, the video that you're watching here and everything that's on the Digital Marketing University on my website, it's focused on what? The three biggest challenges that businesses face, all businesses, how to drive traffic, into the business, how to actually get people to notice and pay attention to their brand and their business. And the second thing is once you have them paying attention, how do you start the communication channel with them and how do you add value to them and cultivate that? And at the same time, the next step is sales, right? Sales is the lifeblood of every single company in the world, regardless if you're a Fortune 500 company or you're a one man, one woman business. You have to have revenue and sales and profits and cash flow to actually grow your business. How do you convert all that traffic, all those leads into actual sales? And at the same time, how do you convert those into recurring revenue and ascension revenue in your business? That is the problem that I'm solving for business through the video you're watching now and also through the videos that I'm producing everywhere. It solves a problem through helping businesses fix their traffic, their leads and the sales and helps them achieve the results of generating hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars using that content. Now, the question I wanna pose for you is what type of problem do you wanna solve for your target audience using the videos and the content that you produce? What are the top problems and what are the top solutions and the results that they are looking for right now that's the most relevant to them today? Two places that you can start with is you can go on core.com. Now, core.com is one of the most popular sites where people are asking questions and they have experts or people that have advice or they have experience with that problem to be able to answer those questions. You can go on there, you type in your industry, it doesn't matter if you're in fitness, you're in blockchain, you're in technology, you're in traditional space, you go on there, you type in the content, you'll find a list of questions. You wanna find the most popular questions on Quora, and then you can see what your target audience is actually asking. What are they wondering about? And then you can create a video around that. The second thing that you can do is you can find the most popular content that's already existing, that people have already spent millions of dollars of their own resources to create, distribute, market, the whole process, you go on buzzsumo.com, you're able to actually see what are the top pieces of content. There's gonna be guides, there's gonna be in-depth videos and whatnot. Now what you can do is the posts that don't have a video on Buzzsumo, you look at the top pieces of content and you create a short five to 10 minute video or a 15 to 20 minute video, whatever it is on your phone or you get one videographer, record that content, you just turn the exact same thing, that medium, into a completely different piece of content of how your audience is gonna consume it. Because right now your audience consumes the same thing through different things. Think about movies, for example. Let's say Harry Potter. Harry Potter started out as a book, then it went into the movies, and then it went into the uh, posters and articles and distribution of marketing materials and whatnot. Now, the people that are watching the movie that have never heard of the book, they went to consume the book. The people that were raving fans of the book went to consume the movie. Every single type of distribution is the exact same thing adapted to a different type of media that's consumed by your target audience you can do the exact same thing in multiple different ways, but you start with video because you're able to produce audio and text through the video as well and multiple different types of video. Now video is a very interesting thing and even to this day as you're watching this video, I'm still working on improving my video skills, how I'm communicating with you to be clear, as clear as possible, add value, and also keep you entertained by doing funny stories or funny actions. Also at the same time you notice I'm moving my hands a lot, it keeps you engaged. So I'm learning a lot of things from the video marketing masters and video people that have produced real brands using video, the storytelling aspect. So what I wanna do is I wanna share with you the five core elements that you must have in your video to really make sure that your target audience actually pays attention to what you're saying to them and keep them engaged. Now the first core factor that you must have in your video content and even when you distribute it into a written piece of content or audio is you must elicit an emotional response. You must make your audience actually feel something from your content. Now as you can imagine the B2B space to have your audience feel something is slightly different and difficult. That's why I do it through my storytelling aspect. The second thing is you must be able to challenge an existing assumption that they have in their mind. If you remember at the start of this video, you can scroll all the way back, I said how you can create content that actually drives an ROI without spending a ton of time or money. Because one of the biggest things you think about when you produce content is you don't have the time or the money or the resources to do it. You don't even know where to start. That's an assumption that you have, but I'm gonna shatter that for you because you can do it even if you don't have all those fancy things. You do not need to be fancy. You just have a phone, which I'm pretty sure you have, and you can create a great piece of content it's all about what and how you say in that video. The third most important thing is you wanna be able to tell a story. Stories are the ways that we understand ideas, we understand the process, and we've been told stories all throughout the ages, you know, through when we were cavemen all the way back, if you wanna go that back all the, to that time, on the walls with the paintings and everything. Stories are the way we understand things very intellectually, and also there's a psychological component as well. So that's why sharing your personal story, sharing your brand story, sharing your client or your customer stories, 
testimonials are so effective because people share their experience and their story with your business. The number four most important factor is you wanna have a unique perspective. People hate hearing the same thing over and over and over again. It sounds like they, it's just very annoying and they mind, their mind tunes out whenever they hear the same message. So you wanna make sure you take a unique standpoint on the content that you're producing. So you're challenging the assumption, it's kind of a little blurry line there, but you wanna be telling a unique perspective, something that's potentially contradictory to what most people are telling you. You share a unique opinion that your target audience will think is very interesting or something different, so they're able to actually embed that idea in their mind when they watch your content. Now the fifth core factor for your videos is energy and entertainment. You wanna make sure that you're distributing that energy through the lens of the video when people are interacting and watching it. At the same time, you wanna make sure the videos are entertaining so they keep paying attention to it. You can be a little bit er uh, quirky or a little bit storytelling based on the three core values or the traits that you think you have when you're able to distribute the, uh, when you're telling the content where you're sharing it through the video. Now before, I had to learn this the hard way through the content, I'm kind of embarrassed to mention it. If you go back to the earlier digital secrets, you can see that a lot of the videos that I produced were just like this. I have my hands down, and I was just talking with a very low voice and then I was smiling and I was looking at the camera and it was just like very, very boring and stale. Same type of content, but a completely different type of demonstration. Now when you produce the content, you wanna be able to put more energy and entertainment through the video. You wanna be more engaging with it. Now I'm not telling you to actually fake it, but you wanna find that balance between how you're interacting with the audience through the video and the content that you create and also building that relationship through the values that you have and the traits as well. So you wanna define that very clearly and once you have those, then you're able to actually effectively do more energy and also more entertainment. The most important thing too is that when you're actually watching the videos, if you think you're super excited, what's actually happening is that you need two to three times more excitement and it'll look normal through the videos. So you almost have to be double excited or triple excited. Now to reframe it, why I told you to start with the video is the video that you're watching right now, for example, we're gonna turn this video into a short post on LinkedIn. We're also gonna turn it into a long post on the website. We're also gonna distribute this on YouTube and we're also gonna use this for three or four ad creators on Facebook. And all I had to do was just record this brief and short video for you. So you can repurpose this video in multiple different ways through the content, through the, the podcast. Now I'm not doing a podcast, but that's something that we'll do later on in the future. But for now, I'm just showing you that when we have a video piece of content in the future, where you decide to do anything else, you'll be ready and you will have so much content that you can use already to be able to distribute it in all these different ways that people communicate through video, through audio, and through written communication. Now that you've got that great piece of content, you're starting from the video, you're going into the written posts, you're going into actual audio if you want, and you've got multiple image creatives and whatnot ready for your audience to consume, what is the point of it if nobody sees it? How can you distribute it to them where they actually pay attention to it, they consume it, they engage with it, and they actually care about your business and your brand online? You gotta keep in mind, one of the core things that most people forget is that you're looking at a screen, right? Your target audience is looking through your screen right now. It's literally just a square and they're looking at your business and your brand. You have to do a lot to be able to demonstrate and provide that clarity, certainty, and direction for them and why your business is important in their life and how is it gonna help them and better their lives, solve a problem or help them achieve a result. Now in terms of distribution of the content, what we can do is we wanna figure out where are the top three places your target audience are on right now? What are the top three platforms? Are they on Facebook? If you're in B2B, are they on LinkedIn? Are they on YouTube? or on, the, on specific websites or blogs that are extremely popular that they're reading and they're regularly paying attention to, or what influencers or celebrities or books do they read, what conferences do they attend, what types of places do they hang out the most online. You wanna find the top three places, and once we find out the top three places, we wanna take your content that you produce, even if it's one, two, or three, doesn't matter, you can start with that one core piece of content using your phone, and then we distribute that content to your target audience and then we see how do they engage with that content. Are you actually pulling the actual value there? Are people paying attention to your video? One of the things that you do not want to do that you can do is this very simple step is most people and most entrepreneurs think you can just take the content, you post it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your YouTube, you leave it there and then people are naturally going to find that piece of content. What you actually want to do is they're missing this important second core step to actually distribute that content and put it in front of them. It's not enough that you just publish the content. What you actually wanna do, which I'm gonna get into in another video, is you wanna drive digital advertising traffic to that piece of content. Especially if you're a startup business right now and you don't have the traction yet, you wanna be able to have an actual piece of content where you use your Facebook, the top three platforms, you use digital advertising, put that content in front of them, and you measure the engagement. 
and you want to see how are people reacting to that content. What's great about it is that each individual platform on the social ones, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, will actually give you detailed analytics that you can simply view to see the engagement on your content. How long people have watched a video, how long people are actually viewing on your site when they read a post, or even with image creators, how many people actually click through and engage with your content. All those platforms make it extremely easy for you. And so the next step is really to digital advertise that piece of content, distribute it out, and see the engagement. Now in another video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the content ad accelerator process, which is the one that we use in-house and also for clients to be able to distribute that content into millions of their target audience without spending a ton of money on it. Without spending a fortune or breaking the bank, especially one of the things you wanna see an ROI in, in your content that you're spending and producing, you wanna make sure that you're effectively distributing the content in the most effective channels so you can actually see an ROI immediate and also in the long term when you're building up that audience for your business. So make sure that you're following me on LinkedIn and also at the same time you're subscribed to the YouTube channel if you're not. Also on YouTube, one thing that's important, make sure you click that bell icon because you are actually gonna get notifications to see the videos. I just noticed that if, you do, if you're subscribed to the channel and you don't have the bell icon turned on, you will not know if future videos like this are released. So make sure you hit that bell icon right there. Now that you know the simple process to be able to create a ton of content that actually drives an ROI in your business without spending a ton of time or money, as promised, you can go on the bentonson.com on the Digital Marketing University to actually get the step-by-step -step walkthrough of how we're doing it in-house, how we're doing it for clients, the full process that's gonna show you A, B, C, D, structured way, the templates, the processes and everything that you need to know to actually implement this into your business. I didn't wanna make this video extremely long for you, which is why I want you to go to that post right there. Now, one of the things that's gonna be great is I want you to follow along with the journey because I wanna share with you how we're wrapping up the content, how I'm planning to produce six to seven pieces of content every single week, videos, posts, podcasts, everything I'm doing on the content distribution side. You follow along, I'll share with you the entire process. And at the same time, as an entrepreneur, right, I don't wanna to spend too much time, money doing it, and also you could drive an effective ROI on getting the actual distribution out there. YouTube community, thanks for watching this video. I wanna make sure that you're getting value from this video, so I want you to do three core things for me. I want you to like this video below. There's a like button there with a thumbs up. I want you to hit that right now. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to comment below and let me know what value, what, what insight did you gain from this video? What are you gonna do with your content? Or any questions or insights that you have, comment below, because I personally read all the comments. The third thing, most important thing, is that you subscribe to the channel and you make sure you turn on that bell icon so you get notifications on new Digital Secret episodes or anything that we're producing on the YouTube channel to basically add value help you grow your business. So thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.